Okay, it's working. Um, I'm Elfie and I will give a brief update on the ongoing standardization process on post-quantum uh, cryptography and the upcoming standards and protocols, which is uh, partly done by IETF and uh, other standard uh, corpuses. And um, yeah, um, it's just a quick update on what to expect next year. Uh, if you're having some systems, if you're wanting to switch to post-quantum cryptography, if you have questions, drop me an email or write me via Matrix or meet me at Congress. Um, yeah, just talk to me. You can download these slides on my website. Um, you can also just go to elfi.dev and there's a link to the slides and it's also in the pre-talks. And a short disclaimer, I'm not a like uber hacker uh, academic cryptographer. Um, I'm doing ITOT security at my day job and um, currently post-quantum cryptography is uh, also a part of it. And so I thought I, I would give a quick update on this. So we have several um, upcoming standards uh, by uh, the ongoing NIST competition, uh, which will be FIP standards. Um, it's one for key encapsulation, one and two for signing, uh, which are FIPs 203, 204, and 205. Um, the first one uh, is the Crystal Skyber algorithm, which will be used as um, the key exchange algorithm. And the other ones are for signatures uh, or for signing stuff. And because NIST thought uh, two signing algorithms are not enough, um, there will be uh, another one released next year. Uh, it's called Falcon, uh, the algorithm. And uh, <laughs> NIST announced last year uh, another competition for additional signing algorithms. So you have plenty to choose. Um, they differ slightly in key, um, signature sizes, key sizes. So it's uh, more a decision of uh, what would you like to use. The Crystal Stilicium one is uh, a pretty convenient one which you can use for most applications. And uh, the additional ones will be uh, 40 candidates are on the review right now in round one and will, it will take, I, I don't know, maybe five, six years like the uh, ongoing standards. Um, IETF is also taking care of uh, standardizing stuff uh, for post-quantum readiness, um, so it's just a brief overview. Um, if, you have, if you go to my slides, you can just click the links and you will go to the IETF drafts. So we have stuff for TLS, we have SSH, we have uh, IKA, we have PKI and certificates. And because uh, we like all like signature algorithms, there are another two ones which are already standardized by IETF, but they are uh, rather complicated to use. So you can use them, but they are stateful hash-based signature algorithms, and they are a little bit complicated to use. So um, just don't use them, I think. Or if you have some corner cases where it, where it is uh, really needed. Um, otherwise, you just wait for the uh, upcoming standards. Um, and there's also some helpful RFC drafts and also the um, GitHub repository which lists all on ongoing ITF work. We have some uh, real-world usage of post-quantum cryptography right now already. Um, OpenSSH um, is post-quantum ready uh, with a combiner um, hybrid algorithm. We have Rosenpass, which is an um, add-on for WireGuard. We have Signal Messenger, Google Chrome, and there are also several libraries which you can use for implementing um, algorithms. And yeah, some software products and uh, projects are waiting for the final standards, which are released next year by NIST or FIPS, uh, but several ones are already um, implementing stuff and just for testing, um, but it's also production grade ready. And it, in usual, it's uh, combiner stuff, so it's not only uh, the post-quantum algorithm, but it's combined with a classical um, algorithm, which is safe for now, and so you have both if the post-quantum one breaks. Um, and yeah, that's my last slide. Um, general advice on post-quantum cryptography, stay up to date, there's a really lot things to come next year. Use post-quantum cryptography where possible and go hybrid where you can and uh, because for some data it might be a problem uh, if it's captured now and decrypted once uh, or in 100 years, nobody knows. Uh, um, cryptography relevant post-quantum computers are there. Um, know your infrastructure and your endpoints and where cryptography, especially uh, the uh, um, post-quantum prone asymmetric one is used and don't underestimate migration complexity and the general advice like uh, don't uh, run your own libraries and crypto um, also apply for post-quantum cryptography. And yeah, that's it. Um, if you have questions, just ask uh, right away, Let, not now. And yeah, thanks, bye. <laughs> Thank you.
on, on point. Very nice. Thanks.